So hi guys, welcome to Moment Video. In this video today, we are going to teach you how to boost the processor and the CPU speed and Windows 10 or 11. You're gonna learn how to make your computer or laptop 100, 200 faster than it already was. So if you are having low FPS in the in games, low FPS on working in your computer, editing videos, messing up your Photoshop and um, SketchUp, Revit, Cinema 4D, doesn't matter, this video will help you 100% for sure. So the first thing we are going to teach you how to do is work in a specific part of the, the system called system configuration. So for that we are going to click Windows and R. So Windows plus R. Then this tab will appear. And then here we are going to type M S config. Then we are going to apply. Just click OK. So in this part, this thing will open. We are going to click on boot. And here we are going to select the Windows option that is current OS. So it means that you have the Windows style in it. If you have another Windows or another systems installed in your computer in your ADD or SSD, it will appear here. So pay attention in it, click in it, go on advanced options, and here in the number of processors. A lot of people doesn't have that marked. Okay, for explaining. We are going on Task Manager just to explain this a little bit. Every time when we buy a processor, that every computer has a processor. The, my, my processor, it's a Ryzen 5 5600G. Okay. And this processor in particular has 12 logical processors. Okay. It has 6 cores, but it has 12 logical processors. The, in, in this case is six virtual cores okay so now that we have 12 cores sometimes sometimes not always you use half of them or maybe even lower so in this case we are going to check that here we are going on number of processors we're going to mark it and we're going to select the max option did that we are going to okay and apply and okay then the system will ask for you to restart you restart and that's okay that will help you make your computer I, I don't even say 200 times faster because in this case in my in my case let's suppose I was using one car and I have 12 so it's not just 200% faster it would be 2000 3000% faster because it makes a lot of difference okay so that's the first option try that I'm sure that you probably doesn't have that marked if you never did that in your life so try that option and tell me if it worked so let's go to the second step the second step we are going on the file explore we are going here on this PC click with the right button go on properties so here we are going to click in this option called advanced system settings we appear this tab and we are going on advanced and here in the tab performance we are going to mess it up with the visual effects processor scheduling memory usage and virtual memory okay we are going to click on settings and here on visual effects we are going to click adjust for best performance when you do that we will take off all of the animations and the beautiful things the blur this the folders and etc okay that make your computer and a laptop a lot heavier so it takes a lot of the FPS and the performance of your computer so click on just for best performance click apply and OK here in advanced the processor scheduling you're gonna have to choose you can choose how to locate the processor resources 
okay so for me it's programs because I use a lot of programs but you can go on background service I recommend you go from programs just click programs okay and then we have as well the virtual memory what is the virtual memory virtual memory we can allocate some part of the memory of the ADD and the SSD I recommend you to do that only on the ADD because it's safer okay we are kind of making the 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 space of the ADD become a certain type of memory for the run let's suppose that's the way of explaining of how that works so that's it we are going to click on change and then we are going to click on the option of the ADD that has a lot more space that we do not miss it go on custom size and we are going to put the minimal that you can use and the max for me it's okay to put 16,000 and the maximum the 25,000 you're gonna go on set and go on OK okay and that is another option to do when you're having low FPS and a low performance on your system okay another thing that you can do is go again on Windows menu and write power options here on power options we are going to click an additional power settings here on additional power settings we are going to have this option balance hard performance and power saving that is for your computer in general so when you are doing like you are watching a movie you are messing in the internet you are surfing the web you are not using a lot of your computer okay and uh, the system may make your power plan to go on balance because of that or power saving because of that if you went to P and you let your computer and in standby for like 20 minutes it goes on power save automatically but in this option in this option I'm using the high performance so it doesn't really matter if I'm taking a sheet I'm peeing I'm sleeping if my computer is online my computer is open it's turn on will be always and high performance so that is another option as well you can also go and change plane settings go and change advanced power settings go here on let me see let me see power processor no, no, no. here processor power management go on minimal process state spend here on setting you're gonna have to write zero go apply and okay I'm not going to do that because my computer if you check that out early you're gonna see that my computer is a beast so I don't need to do that but when I had a computer that was a lot more weak in my whole life I used to do those tricks to make it faster and it used to work like a charm another thing that you can do is go on task manager go on startup and here you're gonna see everything that is that is open with your system so let me see this is my antivirus so of course it will be enabled let us see um discord you can go on click and disable that way when your computer turn on it will not take a lot longer to turn on because you had you're, you're gonna have one last item opening together so do that with all the programs that you don't need or you don't want to open with your computer and just turn off that was the video guys if i helped you please leave a comment below if you are not subscribed please subscribe you have a link in the description that if you want to help me with any kind of donation i'll be very 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 honored to receive some kind of help of you guys that will make me able to make more videos for you guys and that's my way to help so any of the methods helped you please leave a comment below if you didn't 
please leave as well that way i can bring another videos for you guys and another solutions so i'll see you in the next video and bye bye